We're coming to you live from Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Krokyo Dome. You know, world famous doesn't mean as much as it used to since most of the world is a charred wasteland, but you get the meaning. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL game day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big game. Except pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Uh, and the man hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. That's a four-yard game. <laughs> you know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Add some more field hazards. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. He deserves to celebrate like that after such a hard drive. <laughs> I'm killing myself here. Hey, what did I say about punks? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. 
kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and a lot. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move to change his score, did it? How good can it be? And that'll bring up third down and seven. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. They run it for a yard. Third down and, well, good luck. He had it for a second there. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. What is this, Andy's wrestling? That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. First and ten. You can't keep a good meal. And he 
picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and one. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grant. I can't think of any yours. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, Grant. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. You want to do some fun on your time. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. And he's off to the races. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Second down in a very long. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and long. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and the punter is warming up. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Yeah. 
straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move, baby. He is fighting for every yard. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and a lot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really... Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Touchdown! I don't know if you're aware of this, but for every touchdown he scores, he drinks the blood of his enemies and donates $1,000 to a local children's hospital. Yeah, what a player. Yeah, don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. some cash second down and five for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty hits on the defensive line. Straight through the uprights. Yeah. 
Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> you want to do some butter on time! When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Scrambler! And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Oh, <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Nice pickup for six yards. Third down and, well, good luck. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Second down in a lot. Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Well, that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and six. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And 
It's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Third down and three. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Runs it for three. Second down and seven. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, I was killing on Shimmel. I am on hell and all Shimmel. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop. From Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. First down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. You want dirt and some fun on your time. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The defense is on its heels. Great run on that play. Third down and nine.
And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Third down and long. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Still might be bricks, but crazy works in the MFL sometimes. Other times, it just comes back with a shotgun. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and eight to go. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And that'll bring up third and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not gonna dance now. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Tough three yards. Second down and seven. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh man, he really works. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. Hey man, I was here on schedule now. You know what happened? And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God I got to take a wicked dub. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. Second down and five. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. <laughs> and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. Second down and seven. No, <laughs> oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and eight. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Apparently the part of the day is being played by my kid's sister. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and the punter is warming up. This guy's a brick shit, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy had... The Terminator terminate the opposition and are victorious. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. Man, talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need fine blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors. Don't you, Grim? No idea what you're talking about. Let's we'll hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. Grim 
Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.